Hey folks, I'm going to try making something today that I really don't like. <laughs> okra. I'm not a big fan. I, I've never been a big fan. Uh, mainly because the way I've always had it, it's always slimy. And uh, I just don't like that. And uh, I can't get past the, the texture the sliminess to really appreciate the flavor so i i really don't know what okra is supposed to taste like but recently i watched a video from america's test kitchen and they they explain why it's slimy like when it comes in contact with liquid or you know it it does get slimy and it's it's normally used in gumbo and uh when i get a gumbo when i make it i don't put okra in my gumbo but when I get a gumbo out and it's got okra, I always take the, the okra out. So I want to give okra a fair shot because I've talked to people. They, oh, yeah, try fried okra. Oh, it's so, it's so good. It's like, okay, I'm going to try the roasted because they said this is one of the best ways. And it was very simple. How They just some oil and some salt and then they roasted it. I'm going to do it a little. I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to kick it up some. So. I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning, and uh, and I've got a different dipping sauce than what they came up with. So, let me get this prepared, show you how I'm going to make this, and then we'll come back and see, am I a big fan of okra now? So, stay tuned. Okay, here I have a half a pound okra, and this is how I'm going to slice this. Cut the... Stem in off and just cut it in half. Just like so. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vegetable oil and a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning and I like this particular brand give that a toss and then just lay this out on a baking sheet with the uh, the cut side down it'll brown better that way okay Let's get this ready for the oven. Now, for the first 12 minutes, you're going to want to cover this with foil. It will help with uh, evenly cooking the okra. So we're going to pop this into a 425 degree oven with the foil on for 12 minutes. Now I'm gonna make a dipping sauce. I just use ranch. I've got a quarter cup of ranch dressing and a quarter teaspoon of this Zatarain's blackened seasoning. So this is a, a blackened ranch. One of my all time favorites. Okay, that's spot on. This will be good with the okra. Okay, that first 12 minutes is up. We're going to remove the foil. Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of steam. Going to remove the foil. And then let it go for another 12 minutes at 425 to, to you know crisp them up okay 12 minutes is up let's plate this okra up and <laughs> give it a taste like i said i'm not a big fan of okra so Maybe this will convert me. We'll see. Mm. 
I know that uh, dipping sauce is going to be good, so let's arrange this a little bit, make it a little, a little more camera friendly. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a taste. Okay, here we go. The final test. They look pretty good. Mm, smells, I guess, okay. I, I'm not a. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of okra, so I don't know how it's supposed to smell or taste. So I'm going to try one without the sauce just to get a kind of an idea. So okay, I can tell right now these are not crispy. They got a nice char on them, but they're not crispy. I was expecting them to be a little crispier, but frankly, the flavor is not bad. Uh, it's not slimy at all. Um, it's got a good, good flavor. Really can't pinpoint what I would say. I guess it, it tastes like okra, you know. But definitely that that Cajun seasoning. I really like that on there as opposed to just plain salt. Hmm, that is interesting. Like I said, they got a nice char on them. Let's try it with some of this uh, blackened ranch. Yeah, another one with the, the blackened ranch. Okay, okay. I, I gotta say, I like this. I like this preparation. It's it's really good. Uh, I will not go out of my way to make roasted okra, probably, unless somebody requests it. But all in all, it's pretty darn good. And I'm I'm glad I got a chance to try it like this because it's it's definitely not it's not slimy like I've tasted in the past, like when it's in a gumbo or some, some other type of stew. So, well, there you have it, folks. If you don't like okra like I do, try it this way, and maybe you will learn to like it. So, thanks for watching.